Hey, what up guys? What I have in front of me here is a hobby box of Upper Deck Golf for 2024. Yes, you heard that right. Upper Deck has finally released a new golf product for us to open. Finally, my channel namesake has something that is relevant to it. But yeah, let's go ahead and start opening it. I'm excited to finally rip some golf cards. All right, so here is the box open here. You get 24 packs, eight cards per back. What's interesting here is actually this product does not have a lot of opportunities for autographs. In previous Upper Deck Golf products, uh, specifically SP Authentic and SP Used, uh, yeah, you were guaranteed autographs, but very low likelihood of getting autographs here. What you're looking for are specific inserts. And then also, if you are familiar with Upper Deck products, especially hockey, they have their Young Guns inserts, which is popping off now because of Connor Bedard. His Young Gun stuff is going crazy. Don't expect the same thing to happen for these Young Gun inserts, but yeah, like I said, not a lot of opportunity for autographs. There's only two autographs in this whole entire set list, Will Zalatoris and Tiger Woods from what I understand. But yeah, let's get on to opening and talk about this product. This is what the pack looks like. As you can see, clearly indicates that it's hobby here in the upper left-hand corner, eight cards per pack. All right, so this is the design here. This is the base card right here. You see upper deck golf in the lower hand corner. This is Rasmus Huygard, okay? And I really do like the photos. I saw some of the photos before. I question how recent some of these photos really are. So here we go. We have season highlights. This is Cole Hammer. And then there's like a little tidbit of, you know, a caption of that photo, which is pretty nice. Uh, Charlie Hoffman base, almost won the last waste management. He was in contention. Then we have, here's a Young Guns. This is Vincent Normand. The only Young Guns that I think is really going off right now is of Victor Hovland. But it's nice to get a Young Guns card. This is what it looks like. Before we continue on, let's look at the back. And on the back here is Charlie Hoffman. You can see the statistics uh, that they have in terms of uh, career earnings and their highest of probably each year, how much they earned as well. So we have Young Guns, Vincent Norman, David Duval base. Okay, we have Corey Connors here, season highlights. Season highlights you're gonna see quite often. Then we have Cameron Tringale, who is on live. So yes, they have live golfers here as well. He actually is wearing his high flyers hat. Interesting. So, so I'm not sure if this is exclusive to PGA, but this, this hat is from high flyers uh, from live. And then the last card here is Carlota Seganda. Okay. So yeah, a mix of both uh, LPGA and PGA players as well. That pack had one young guns. No one that I know specifically, maybe you've heard of Vincent Norman, but let's keep on going. Here is someone who I am familiar with in these sets is Brittany Altamare or Altamar. Uh, we have a season highlights of Ryan Fox. Okay. Oh, here we go. JT. Uh, interesting photo of JT used here. Okay. And JT base. Seamus Power. All right. Season highlights. Okay. Upper deck canvas. Max Homa. All right, so this is already kind of PC for me. So these upper deck canvas cards are what they state. It's a canvas type card. Uh, so the material is gonna be a little bit different. The upper deck canvas cards are one in every six packs. Let's see if it's numbered. It is not numbered anywhere on this card. So this is a base one in six upper deck canvas card. I like that. I like Max Homa. Finally, he is in a golf trading card set. So a happy addition for him. Uh, we have Season highlights of both, interesting, both Fitzpatrick's, but this is an Alex Fitzpatrick card, but Matt Fitzpatrick is also featured as well. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna keep that one to the side. Then we have DA points base card. And then we have another season's highlights of Sam Bennett. Now Sam Bennett popped off in uh, the Masters, um, but we haven't heard much of him lately. And he is kind of like a feature signee, I think for upper deck. And yeah, that's the thing about golf. Success in golf is fleeting. Um, so let's see if it continues to do well. All right, we have Bernard Langer, base. Season's highlights, Sahith Igala. I'm happy to get him. He's finally in an official golf product. He is included in the Goodwin Champions product uh, for a single year. So that's cool to get him. Uh, Siwoo Kim, base card. Okay, we have a young gun of Corey Connors. So now young guns is usually reserved for rookies. But since it's been a while since Upper Deck has had a golf product, there's gonna be a lot of names 
of people who, you know, it's not necessarily their rookie year, but maybe have a Young Guns card. As you can see right here, it says he turned pro in 2015. It's not 2015, but he's on a Young Guns card nonetheless. All right, we have Garrick Higo, uh, or Ego. He is from uh, South Africa, from what I understand. Uh, we have major winner Ashley Buhai on the season highlights. Uh, Michelle Wee West makes a return in a golf product, so that's pretty cool. And then we have Thomas Peters. Um, I believe he might have gone to live. I'm not sure. Um, but Thomas Peters on the season highlights. So other than some Young Guns and the Upper Deck Canvas card, nothing out of the ordinary. If we get numbered items, that'd be good. We have Lee Hodges, uh, Adam Long, Nick Hardy, Michael Block. Okay, interesting. Michael Block is in this product. Uh, if you follow the golf world, you may be sick of Michael Block. I think he's fine. I don't listen too much of the news in the media. Uh, in the golf world, but Michael Block has a card, so I'm going to put that in notable basis for myself. Oh my gosh. So this is a Colin Morikawa Upper Deck exclusive acetate card. The acetate cards are very infrequent, and if you get a player that you like, then consider yourself lucky. This looks pretty awesome, although this is definitely an older picture of Colin for sure. But yeah, all right, got two pretty good cards. We'll continue on. Uh, Maverick McNeely. Uh, Tony Finau, and then we have a card of Curtis Luck. The acetate of Colin Morikawa, pretty good hit. All right, here we go. We have uh, Thorbjorn Olsen. Uh, we have Adam Hadwin, guy that got tackled recently uh, by a security guard during a tournament at the tournament's end. Taylor Moore, Michael Thompson. Okay, Upper Deck Retro Nancy Lopez. Upper Deck Retro is one in every 48 cards, so that's a pretty good get. So one in every two boxes. And then we have Justin Sa, Hudson Swafford, and then we have Tom Lehman. Hit a few good cards here, but like I said, there's no autographs. There will be autograph-based products coming out later in the year. So keep, so that's probably what they did was all the inserts, all the numbered cards, all the short print cards, that aren't autographed, they're gonna put in this set, and then the autograph heavy stuff, they're gonna put in separate product later in the year. So yeah, as you said, Sam Bennett season highlights. Bennett ties for 16th during his first start in, in Augusta. So they don't mention the Masters here, maybe they have to license the name the Masters, but that's what Sam Bennett was known for initially. We have Troy Merritt. Mito Pereira did really well in the Corn Ferry Tour, really well in the US Open. Obviously didn't, he, obviously he choked it away on the 18th hole. But yeah, Mito Pereira, season highlights. Bernard Langer, tour time. Justin Thomas, season highlights. There he is, the big cat, Tiger Woods. Now we have Sunday Red, no more Tiger Woods logo uh, in play. And then we have Will Zalatoris on the season highlights. And then Luke List. Yeah, it's interesting, Will Zalatoris, he has been in other products, so it's kind of hard to say which is his rookie. I don't think it'd be fair to call his rookie card, uh, even though this is the first appearance in this upper deck set, a rookie. Another South African here, Dylan Fratelli. Joel Damon, look at this photo of Joel Damon. I like this. <laughs> Joel Damon on the season highlight. Oh, we have something in the back here. Doc Redman, uh, Colin Morikawa on the season's highlights. Okay. And then what do we have here? Oh, okay. Honor roll, Doc Redman. Obviously not a guy that you want. Honor roll cards are one in every 12 packs, so two per, two per box. So we'll put that to the side. Uh, Billy Horschel makes an appearance now in a golf product. Lucas Glover, and then a season highlights of Ryan Fox. I do like the season highlights because I'm not sure if it's photo matched or not, but it's a little tidbit you know, of how that person did that day. Hudson Swafford, Corey Connor, season highlights. Another Colin Court Morikawa base. Okay, Young Guns, Yuko Sasso. I'm happy to get this. Uh, I saw Yuko Sasso play uh, the Women's US Open uh, over at the Olympic Club. So cool to get a Young Guns of that. Uh, Burned Wiesberg, I believe he went to live and I'm not sure if he's still on the live tour. Uh, Danny Willett, uh, Gordon Sargent, and then Aaron Wise. So you're gonna get a lot of season highlights. You're gonna get a lot of base, yeah. Let's keep on going. All right, here we go. Luke Donald, Will Zalatoris, 
Uh, Chris DeMarco, that's a throwback. Uh, highlights of Yuko Sasso. All right, here is an honor roll. Who's it going to be? Titleist, Justin Thomas. It's going to be maybe Will Zalatoris. Okay, Will Zalatoris on the honor roll. Uh, I actually like that. That's a great get. Not numbered, I don't believe. Uh, Justin Suh, season highlight. Paula Kramer makes an appearance. Okay, back into a card set. And then Taylor Moore. Already a few hits. Colin Morikawa on the Acetate is probably the biggest card thus far. So we have Brandon Wu. Uh, Annika Sornstan, the GOAT. Uh, Matthew Fitzpatrick here. Uh, we have another tour time of David Duval. Alex Fitzpatrick, the brother of Matthew Fitzpatrick. Uh, Nick Taylor. And then we have Siwoo Kim. And then we have Julie Inkster, also LPGA legend. All right. Pat Perez. Tough to be Pat Perez right now. Okay, first Victor Hovland card. Um, hopefully get a Young Guns of him, but interesting. Young Guns of Carly Booth. So Carly Booth, um, haven't been following her lately. I don't believe she's playing on tour anymore, but interesting to get a Young Guns of her. Wesley Bryan, you might know him from the Bryan Bros Golf YouTube channel, but also a player on the PGA Tour. Uh, Tiger Woods season highlights, okay. And then we have Danielle King in the base, one of my favorite LPGA players. And then Brooke Henderson also in the season highlights. So yeah, Brooke Henderson finally makes an appearance in a golf set, that is exciting. Let's keep going. Okay, season highlights, still looking for that Young Guns, Victor Hovland, Rasmus Hoygaard, uh, Cole Hammer season highlights. Oh, we have something here. All right, we have a defining moments here. This is one in every 16 packs, so one in every couple of hobby boxes. Oh, I think, is that Taylor made that can beat Colin? Colin Morikawa? Okay, Colin Morikawa, Upper Deck Golf defining moments. Morikawa wins a major debut, so this is for Harding Park, I think. Yeah, so this is, you know, highlighting his Harding Park victory uh, on August 9th of 2020. So, you know, they can't use the naming of the majors, so they just say to seal a victory in San Francisco, which was at Harding Park. Uh, bummer I didn't get to see that, but like the defining moments here of Colin Morikawa. Uh, Lucas Herbert. Yeah, some of these are really old. Look at this M3 hat from Lucas Herbert. So, yeah, definitely not an up-to-date picture. Uh, David Duval, Corey Connors, and Cameron Tringale. So, I mean, in terms of like players that I really like, I'm getting them in the inserts and, you know, the lower, the lower or the more rare stuff. All right, so here we go. Ryan Fox again, Justin Thomas, uh, Seamus Power, Bernard Langer. Okay, we have another insert here. Upper Deck Gallery is one in every 13 packs. So one in every, a couple maybe per hobby box. So that's cool. Freddy Couples, that's awesome. Not numbered. So a lot of these inserts, they do have numbering and parallels, but yeah, so far I've yet to see a numbered card. DA Points, Sam Bennett, and Garrick Higo. Yeah, actually that's almost a little concerning. Not a single numbered card. I was hoping to get something numbered, but we still have a lot of packs to go. Okay, Jason Duffner on Cobra, interesting. Billy Horschel, wow, how old is this photo? Look how young he looks there. Nikolai Hoygaard, uh, he is, I think, the more successful of the two Hoygaard brothers. We have something shiny in the back, and I know what that is. Uh, we have Sam Bennett. All right, so we have this Dazzlers card, it's blue. There's also a pink variant that's much rarer. I think the blue is one in every 24 packs, so you get one per hobby box. The pink is like one in every 72. So who do we get here? Dazzlers, is this Tringale? Oh, Seamus Power in the Dazzlers, okay. And these aren't parallel, so pretty cool. Seamus Power on the Dazzlers. And then we have Victor Perez, Stacy Lewis, and then Justin Thomas. So yeah, so we're getting the inserts, nothing parallel. Nothing super, super short printed. Another Seamus Power, season highlights. Taylor Gooch definitely is in live. He's, he made a comment about how Rory's Masters win for the Grand Slam wouldn't be valid if because he's not participating. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, Sahith Tagala, John Daly. Look at that card and look at that mullet, baby. 
we have another upper deck gallery. Who is it going to be? Someone with the visor. Is it going to be Lexi? T oh, it's going to be Michelle Wee on the upper deck gallery. Not numbered, I believe. We have Nancy Lopez. Wow, look how old that photo is. Nancy Lopez. She's even got a wooden club. My goodness. Uh, Brandon Wu. And then Patrick Rogers. Okay, we're running out of packs here. Nothing too crazy. So let's keep going. All right, we have season highlights. Sahith Thagalang. Uh, Siwoo Kim. Uh, Thorbjorn Olsen. Okay, we have another one of these uh, defining moments here. Titleist. Is this one going to be Justin Thomas? Oh, Will Zalatoris on the defining moments. So I got to check the, the, the checklist for defining moments. Maybe it's all the players that I like, but defining moments of Colin and Will Zalatoris. I'll definitely take that. Uh, behind here, major winner Ashley Buhai. Her season highlight is when she won her major. Okay. So yeah, nothing short printed. Like I said, I consider something that's like anything outside of the odds of a single box. So anything out of one of 24 packs, which is how much is in single box, I consider a pretty good hit. But so far, nothing too crazy. Uh, Charlie Hoffman, Lee Hodges. We have Adam Long, Nick Hardy. Oh, okay. So here is a cool card and set if you want to start building, not a rainbow, but a set of cards. It's a scorecard card, um, and here it is. I already looked at the player, but it's a scorecard card, and this is of Aaron Wise. So this base insert, I wanted to show you this, is one out of every 144 packs. So that's actually a pretty good hit. Aaron Wise is not the player that I personally want. Maybe there's an Aaron Wise collector, but this is the base. The birdie is out of 100, the eagle is out of 50, and then the ace is a one of one. So I kind of want to build this for a player that I like, get all the cards in the set, like maybe Daniel King or something. So that's pretty cool. One out of every 144 packs. So probably one of the better cards that I've gotten. Uh, Carlota Singanda, Maverick McNeely, Tony Finau. All right, couple more card, a couple more packs here left. Uh, here we go, Troy Merritt, Mito Pereira, uh, Luke Donald. Uh, young Guns, Aman Gupta. I don't know much about this player, but another Young Guns card. A little Tiger action. Will Zalatoris, Luke List, and Justin Sa. Season highlights. Okay. Some more Michael Block. Brandon Wu. Annika Sornstan. All right, we have, is this uh, Cameron Champ Young Guns or something? Okay, Cameron Champ Young Guns, like I said, once again, not a rookie. We'll look on the back here. Cameron Champ started in 2017, he turned pro. So yeah, I like Cameron Champ, he's pretty cool. Uh, cool to have a Young Guns of him. Curtis Luck, Alex Fitzpatrick. Yeah, see, Fitzpatrick becomes the second member of family to go pro, the first is his brother who won uh, the US Open. We have Nick Taylor and Si Woo Kim. Yeah, so out of all these cards, nothing has been numbered. Uh, you know, so that's interesting to me. I hope to get a numbered card. All right, season highlights, Will Zaltoris, Chris DeMarco. Another season highlights, Yuko Sasso. Uh, okay, Pat Perez. Okay, we have an upper deck canvas card. I see a Callaway hat. Not sure who I want this to be, but this is going to be, oh God, <laughs> Taylor Gooch, <laughs> the Gooch, man. And then we have Paula Kramer, uh, Taylor Moore, and Wesley Bryan. All right, four packs left. We're getting to the bottom. All right, we have Adam Hadwin, Taylor Moore, Michael Thompson, Victor Hovland. Okay, another upper deck canvas card. Oh, Justin Suh in the upper deck canvas. Okay, cool. I like Justin Suh quite a bit. I hope he does well this year and gets that first victory. Uh, Hudson Swafford, Tom Lehman, and Lucas Herbert. All right, three packs left. Let's keep going. Matt Kuchar makes an appearance. Matt Kuchar, uh, Tony Finau on the base, Matthew Fitzpatrick. Look how young he looks here. My goodness. All right, so behind here, yeah, National Heroes card. I can see it right there. This is one in every 13 packs, and it's a horizontal card. 
and we have Victor Perez and it's not numbered. So yeah, you can see it's a, you know, the flag of France is behind here, or at least the France colors. So we have Victor Perez, uh, Yannick Paul, Freddie Couples, Brooke Henderson, and Gary Player. Wow, this almost looks like his pro set card. I'll have to look that up. Okay, two packs left. All right, Victor Hovland on the season highlights, Danny Willett, uh, Davis Riley. Okay, I see a Matt Fitzpatrick card. This is an insert as well. I think it's like some kind of up and coming or something. Okay, no, next. Next generation Matt Fitzpatrick. These generation next cards are one in every 20 packs. Not numbered. So yeah, no numbered cards. Uh, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. Then we have Tiger Woods here on the season highlight. Daniel King. Brooke Henderson. And then Matt Kuchar. All right, last pack. Is there going to be a last pack mojo? I don't think so. For me, I value the autographs quite a bit. I know they're saving them for a separate product, but yeah, a hobby box with no autograph, kind of tough for me to kind of justify, but let's keep going here. Okay, so we have season highlights. Matt Fitzpatrick, Duffner. We have Billy Horschel looking very young. Nikolai Hoygaard. Uh, so we have our last canvas card of the box, and it's going to be, okay, Justin Thomas. Look at that pose of Justin Thomas with his butt sticking out. Okay, I really like this card. That's a pretty cool card. Not numbered. Okay. And then we have Julie Inkster. Then we have Victor Perez and Stacy Lewis. All right, so that's pretty much the product. I'm going to go through kind of the, what I believe are the hits of the box. So starting with the Young Guns cards, I got a total of six. We have Cameron Champ, Amon Gupta, uh, Carly Booth, uh, Yuko Sasso, which I'm probably most excited about, Corey Connors, and then Vincent Norman. Then we have these canvas cards, upper deck canvas cards. I really like this Max Homa one and this Justin Thomas one with his butt sticking out. Uh, Justin Sum, I'm a big fan of as well. And then we got the Gooch. <laughs> we have these honor roll cards, one of Will Zalatoris and then Doc Redman. Some personal favorites, these upper deck gallery ones of Michelle Wee West and then also Freddie Couples. Uh, in terms of, you know, the rare stuff, one out of 24 packs, you get a Dazzlers card in the blue. If you're lucky, you can get the pink one, but the blue is one in 24. This is a Seamus Power. And here comes the rare stuff. We have... We have scorecard superstars. This is one out, of, one out of every 144 packs of Aaron Wise. This is just the base. Then we have this upper deck retro of Nancy Lopez. And then we have this Colin Morikawa acetate card. This thing just looks cool. So I definitely think that this is one of the better cards for me personally, because I like Colin Morikawa. But that's pretty much the set. I'll definitely be opening more Upper Deck card products in the future once they come out. But I hope you guys enjoy the one. Keep chasing. We'll see you in the next one.